China's private aerospace company Landspace has taken a giant leap forward in the global space race with the successful launch of its enhanced Juke 2 E rocket. This isn't just another satellite launch. It's the world's first methane-fueled rocket to reach orbit, a milestone that redefines the possibilities of space exploration. With groundbreaking technologies like liquid oxygen methane propellants, a supercooled fueling process, and enhanced payload capabilities, the Zhuqi 2E showcases engineering brilliance that rivals established space giants. In this video, we'll explore the innovative design of the rocket and why it matters for China's ambitious space program. The Zhuk 2E represents cutting-edge engineering that pushes the boundaries of rocket technology. Designed and developed by Landspace, this medium lift launch vehicle stands 47.3 meters tall and has a diameter of 3.35 meters. It is capable of deploying payloads of up to 4,000 kilograms into a 5000 kilometer sun synchronous orbit, positioning it as a versatile solution for satellite deployment and scientific missions. One of its most notable features is its use of liquid oxygen and methane propellants, a revolutionary choice in rocket design. Methane, cheaper and more efficient than traditional fuels, burns cleanly, minimizing engine residue. This is a key advantage for reusable rocket systems. Additionally, methane's higher thermal stability simplifies engine design, reducing the risk of system failures and maintenance needs. Its abundance on Earth and potential availability on other planets like Mars also makes it a promising fuel for future interplanetary missions. The rocket uses a full supercooling propellant filling scheme, cooling the liquid oxygen and methane to ultra-low temperatures. This innovation increases propellant density, allowing for more fuel storage and enhanced thrust while streamlining the fueling process to just 1.5 hours, reducing pre-launch downtime. This efficiency is critical for reducing launch costs and enabling faster turnaround for missions. The second stage of the rocket is powered by the upgraded Tianq-15 engine, which incorporates a vector control system to replace conventional vernier thrusters. This design change reduces the engine's weight by 400 kilograms, improving overall performance and efficiency. With features like a lightweight niobium alloy nozzle, the engine is optimized for high-performance missions, allowing greater flexibility in payload configurations and orbital placements. These advancements place the Zhuqiu E in direct competition with global leaders like SpaceX, showcasing Landspace's ability to innovate. Beyond breaking records, this technology paves the way for a new era of cost-effective, sustainable, and reliable access to space, further cementing China's presence in the global space industry. The Zhuke 2E's successful launch is not just a technical achievement but a pivotal element in China's broader space ambitions. It underscores the growing synergy between private enterprises like Landspace and the state-backed space program. This collaboration is reshaping China's aerospace landscape and accelerating its journey toward global space leadership. China's ambitious goal of achieving 100 orbital launches in 2024 highlights its determination to solidify its presence in space. The Zhuk 2E contributes directly to this objective, showcasing how private sector innovation can effectively complement state-led efforts. Encouraging private companies allows China to diversify its space capabilities, enabling more frequent launches and supporting a wider array of missions, from commercial satellite deployment to groundbreaking deep space exploration projects. This achievement also signals China's readiness to compete with major global players like the US and Europe in the rapidly expanding commercial space market. With the capacity to deliver payloads of up to four tons to sun-synchronous orbits, the Zhuk 2E addresses the growing demand for satellite launches, including those supporting Earth observation, telecommunications, and advanced scientific research. Its advanced design demonstrates China's ability to rapidly innovate and match, or even surpass, the capabilities of its global counterparts. The Zhuk 2E's success also highlights the effectiveness of China's policies that encourage private sector growth in aerospace. Strategic investments in startups like Landspace and policies designed to create a favorable environment for innovation are enabling China to close the gap with more established spacefaring nations. This approach underscores the importance of private enterprises in advancing national space objectives. 
Furthermore, the Zhu QE provides a tangible example of how China is fostering a new era of competition in space. By lowering costs, accelerating innovation, and expanding mission diversity, China is not only demonstrating its growing technological prowess, but is also laying the groundwork for a more competitive, dynamic, and globally influential space industry. At its core, this success positions China as a central player in the next chapter of space exploration. Landspace's success with the Zhuqi 2E has profound implications for the global space industry, signaling a shift in the competitive dynamics of commercial spaceflight. As the first methane-fueled rocket to reach orbit, the Zhuqi e demonstrates the viability of next-generation propulsion technologies, challenging the dominance of companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin. The use of methane as a propellant represents a significant innovation, Methane's efficiency, combined with its clean combustion properties, makes it ideal for reusable rocket systems. This puts the Zhuk 2E in a competitive position in the global market, offering cost-effective and environmentally conscious solutions for satellite launches. Additionally, methane's availability on Earth and potential for extraction on Mars makes it a promising fuel for future interplanetary missions, opening up exciting possibilities for human exploration of the solar system. Methane's relatively low cost and straightforward handling processes further enhance its appeal for future large-scale space missions. Landspace's achievement also highlights the growing role of private companies in advancing space exploration. Private enterprises are now driving innovation at an unprecedented pace, creating new opportunities for international collaboration and competition. The Zhuqi 2E's success sets a benchmark for other companies and nations, demonstrating that innovation isn't confined to established players. This launch shows how emerging players can disrupt the space industry by focusing on novel approaches and cost efficiency, sparking a new era of competitive progress. Looking ahead, Landspace is developing the Zhuk 3, a stainless steel reusable rocket designed for heavier payloads and cost-effective missions. Scheduled for a 2025 debut, the Zhuk 3 reflects the industry-wide shift toward reusability and sustainability, aligning with global trends spearheaded by SpaceX. This shift promises to lower the cost per launch significantly, making space more accessible to startups, smaller nations, and even universities. Such advancements will empower a new wave of innovation and exploration, encouraging greater participation in space endeavors. In the broader context, the Zhuqi 2E's launch signals a democratization of access to space. By lowering costs and enhancing efficiency, such advancements could pave the way for more nations, companies, and even individuals to participate in space exploration. Landspace's success isn't just a win for China, it's a leap forward for humanity's journey into the cosmos, bringing us closer to the reality of a sustainable and inclusive future in space exploration. In this video, we have learned about the Zhuqi 2E's groundbreaking launch, its technological innovations, and its strategic importance for China and the global space industry. We explored how methane propulsion and supercooled fueling systems redefine rocket technology, why private sector collaboration is reshaping China's space program, and what these achievements mean for the future of space exploration. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below to share your thoughts on this incredible news and what you'd like to learn more about. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.